Welcome friends, I'm Tanmoy. I welcome you all in my channel to study chemistry and molecule. So today we will discuss actually a very good thing. It's uh, actually we will discuss what triphenyl acid. It's a super acid, organic super acid, and most importantly, CH bond is acting super acid. This is the part for means confusion, surprise. Or you can say, so, wow, CH bond acting as a super acid. So we will learn about its preparation and why this is extremely acidic. Okay, so let's start. So as you can see, super acid. What is mean by that? Super acid means more acidic than hundred percent. Pure sulfuric acid. This is the definition of a super acid. Okay. So in this direction, uh, so it is most it actually it is stronger than sulfuric acid. Means in second step we can say it is stronger than sulfuric acid. No problem. Fine. Question comes: CH bond containing molecule. Why it is so much? Why it is stronger than sulfuric acid? So, if you see sulfuric acid, it is like this. OH, OH. For example, let's see. This is H plus, and this is O minus. How it is stabilized? Because this delocalizes in this way, one in this way, in this way. There are canonical forms, so in this way it is stabilized. But sir, so how it is stabilized? So, if it releases one proton, so it should prepare this H plus plus. This is C is O two C F three minus thrice carbon. This is very acidic means this is highly stabilized. So this is highly stabilized. Stabilized. Question is why? I'll explain. So this. So before going to details, okay. This is an another important example, which is triphenyl acid. Triphenyl acid. Don't make confused. This is triphenylic acid. This is triphenyl acid. What does it mean? CF three. SO two. OH means trifluoromethane sulfonic acid. Trifluoromethane sulfonic acid. Difference this CF three. This this acid is stronger than the sulfonic acid because of the withdrawing effect of CF three. The corresponding O minus is stabilized. This is also a super acid. And actually, triphenyl acid is ten to the power four times stronger than triphenyl acid. Okay, so actually, this this is PF or triphenyl acid. So this is the in this is the interesting thing. So. Means there are few striking points appears in molecule. First of all, CH one. Second of all, stronger than this OH because if it uh, eliminates proton, what it produces? It produces CF three is. O O O minus plus H plus, and this O minus is resonance stable. Let me draw at least one canonical form. So CF three is double bond O O minus. So actually, if we say properly, it should be written that our electronic distribution is CF three is. O oh. 
So the negative charge is distributed on three. So this is. And this withdrawing effect makes it special than something like that. Fine. So this is question half. So that we will explain just sometimes later. First, let's discuss about the synthesis. So this is the background. You got it. Why we should learn this chemistry? Okay. So now let's discuss about the synthesis. Or you can say preparation. So how it prepared? It is prepared from corresponding CH2 SO2 CF3 twice. Okay, this is prepared from this. So means there are two such type of groups. See the similarity. That's why I have discussed it initially such that you can understand about the room. So what is expected? These hydrogen will act as active methylene. Active methylene compound, this their acidity should be, and reality they are far more acidic than active methylene. So what happens? In presence of Grignard reagent, that is methyl magnesium bromide, we can expect that there should be a anion formation, monoanion. So what do I mean this? And here CF3, SO2 twice, H, this is expected. But actually, this is not. What happens? This at H doesn't survive. It produces diene. Okay, two minus plus two methane. This is the proof that two more two molecule of ethyl magnesium bromide is consumed. And in this context, I want to uh, recapitulate you that previously I have already uploaded a video regarding Grignard reagent. And this is one of the standardization technique of Grignard region that how many active hydrogens are present in this Grignard region. This is a technique to determine active hydrogen. And actually here both. Generally it is not common because of this group it is happening. So here along with that 2 magnesium means 2 magnesium Br. Magnesium is 2 plus. But one but there is also a bromide, so that's why this NGBR unit contributes one plus positive charge. Fine. Okay. So, so we have prepared that anion. Now the question: What is the second phase? Let's write it clearly. Two. NGBR. Okay, okay. Now this reacts with trifluoromethyl sulfonyl fluoride. Okay. How this is prepared from trifluoromethyl uh, sulfonic acid? Actually, this is prepared from methane sulfonic acid. Electrofluorination. One one step. This is so this and what happens? It reacts with okay. So how to understand this factor? This one unit of negative charge means one unit. How should I write it? This is 2 minus this carbon ion attacks it. So, addition elimination, so it will open first, then it will come back fluoride. So, what is the product? This carbon attached to 3 SO2CF3. SO2CF3, similar. So, I am not writing. SO2CF3. And that is the reason another negative charge is there. So in this negative charge is resonance stabilized in this one. So this is highly stable. But I was telling this, this is highly stable. 
So how it prepared? This prepares in second step by this prepared in second step by acidification with sulfuric acid. Okay, acidification with sulfuric acid. We write here. So you may expect that why since sulfuric acid is weaker compared to this, from a weaker acid, why a stronger acid will prepare? Fine. In first step, what is expected that if it's weak, then this magnesium bromide part, this magnesium will be precipitated. But if this precipitate corresponding counter ion, there must be H plus plus this C minus SO2 C3. Fine, but this is not still pure. Okay. And in the medium, there is also sulfate. Since sulfuric acid is there, there should be some sulfate. So what happens to this medium? Barium 2 plus salts added. Okay. If you add barium 2 plus selectively, this sulfate will be precipitated, and whatever will remain in the medium, that is this tetrafluoric acid, and that is purified, separated using organic solvent and purified. So, in this way, we got this pure tetrafluoric acid. Now, question why it is so strong? Why? The most important question why it is so strong? This part will be answered based on the ex delocalization of the negative charge. Okay. What do I mean? That if you understand how this negative charge is delocalized, then only you can understand how this is. So actually this negative charge is distributed over 6 oxygen. Let me write everything clearly. So this is, so let's consider this is, this is, this is, this is, this is. This is. So this in this way another canonical form it should be this this let's draw one canonical form so c this is s o minus double bond o cf3 and rest are same cf3 so2 cf3 fine so what should be the Actual, actual structure of this molecule means how the result means negative charge is delocalized. Actually, since in one part contributes for two canonical structure, so there should be six equivalent canonical structure. Six equivalent. canonical structures possible and that is the reason for a very step efficient delocalization of the negative charge. So if we draw it, how it looks like. So as I have discussed about the triphilic acid, similarly we will explain the form. Okay, so negative charge actually distributed here, here, here. Means no bond is actually single bond, no bond is double bond. So in this way, you can say the charge. Let's consider that one sixth in this way, negative. Or better to say, it's better write negative. That is more logical. So negative, 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 negative. So what's happening? The charge is this this delocalized over electronegative, electronegative oxygen. Electronegative oxygen atom. That 
is the reason this is so 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 much stable okay and you, it is so much stable that even it doesn't want to go back so generally what we believe a super asset what we believe that a siege bomb it's a it means when we say it's a siege bomb means a molecule having extremely acidity and another thing it's a solid at room temperature so if a siege bomb containing molecule why would be this much because if you consider its simplest carbon analog which is nothing but methane this 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 or let's consider a realistic example that is butane this c3 h7 okay no c4 h10 yes it is right c3 h7 fine so if you think that it gives one electron it removes it releases one electron and produces it releases one electron and produces the corresponding carbon ion carbon ion and h plus will it be stable no extremely unstable why because i have discussed about previously in my video butyl lithium butyl lithium bu minus bu minus and lithium plus it is one of the strongest base why this carbon ion is unstable so now here carbon ion is extremely stable and that is the design that is the design and i should give the credit of the people who designed this molecule how the introduction of this electronegative uh, introduction of this electronegative atoms in a conjugated fashion such that the produce negative charge would be due to the presence of this so this is the overall activity of this triplets uh, okay so this is the end of this discussion so we how to have learned we have learned about how a ch bond means again i say a ch bond acting as a super acid answer proper introduction of the proper design to introduction of electron withdrawing to the ch3so2 attached to a carbon Results in the formation of this super acid. I believe such type of videos are not important for exam, but such type of videos are important to satisfy the hunger and curiosity of your mind about chemistry. Is it possible? Really? Could be? These are the one of the extreme examples. Okay. So if you like my teaching, I request you please share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited and. in future i shall also try to make some videos for you so till now stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video